I didn't really have a plan, that's for sure. It was kind of just like, I know I want to drive up there. I know I want to see the Pacific Northwest. In a way, I think having a plan really would have inhibited everything. I was able to see some pretty frightening moments and some amazing adventures I don't think I would have seen otherwise. I am in Oregon. Oregon's rad so far. So there's this, uh, I didn't know any of this about Oregon, but apparently you don't pump your own gas in Oregon. So I, uh, I crossed the border into Oregon and went to the first gas station. And I drive up there and there's these rope things or these wires across the ground. And um, it made like this bell sound. And I'm like, all right, well, maybe that's just a counter to see how many customers they get. I guess it's not just a counter, it's like an alert for the employees. But I go and put my credit card in the machine and then like grab the handle and then this lady runs out and she's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, oh, great, how are you? I'm, and she's like, what can I get for you? I'm like, oh, I'm just pumping gas. She's like, I'll be pumping your gas. It's illegal to pump your own gas in Oregon. I'm like, what? So yeah, um, I guess that, that is fact. Uh, that, <laughs> they pump gas for you. I asked her why she said she she's she thinks maybe it's to create some jobs. But uh, anyways, she was super super nice, super rad. So um, that was a good first experience with the Oregonians, if you will. I don't know what that that was stupid. I didn't say that. Um, I, I did look it up to see if that was true on the interwebs, though, because I mean, hell, what if she like tried to hack my credit card or something? But uh, yeah, it, it, it does appear to be true unless the whole internet is in on it too, then good for her. After coming close to the northern end of Oregon, my first stop would be the Columbia River Gorge. There, I knew I was promised some amazing waterfalls and some beautiful scenery. So I don't know, wow, that is, it's, the sun's right in my face. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I was planning on this one hike, but there was a bunch of broken glass and then a sign saying, don't leave your dang stinking dumb stupid valuables all over the place because everyone's gonna steal it. So now I'm like, maybe I should go somewhere else where there's, it's just not all tourist frenzy. So I don't know, we'll see. Oh, and by the way, if you hear me, talking like that in these videos where I'm like, dang, stupid, dumb, idiot, that, that's me joking, okay? I don't actually talk like that. Operating without a plan can be tough sometimes, so I decided to find this restaurant here and formulate a plan for the next day. So I went into researching some hikes in the area, and I found some in Mount Hood. The only problem is, by the time I got up there, it was pitch black and it was hard to see anything and I didn't know where I was going at all and I was quickly losing cellular service. This is where I ended up. just about the creepiest drive I've ever done. I bet you anything it's gonna be beautiful when I wake up, when I open this door right here. Can you, there's a door right there. Adjacent to this one, there's a door. Or that one, hell, I'll open all of them, back doors too. What am I on about? Well, that was a freaking creepy drive, that's all I can say. Um, in other news, I got, um, I got this. Look at that. I got that at the falls. Finally, so my van is more like a Pinterest van because Pinterest things are great. 
Now I'm parked in the middle of freaking death. Anyways, good night. Let's have a good day tomorrow. It's gonna be rad. All right, good morning. I'm gonna open this for the first time and see what the heck it looks like outside. So far it's a beautiful morning. Exactly what I thought Oregon would look like. <clears throat> it's super overcast and foggy. I'm so excited to get out there. That's why I, I just want to eat super fast. Because forget this crap. I just want to run around in the forest. Excited to be here. Look how beautiful it is. It's so green. I am out in the forest. Hell yeah. Can't wait to see where this thing takes me. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just went up a pretty big, long, steep hill. Um, on the note of, holy crap, what the hell? Just freaking pterodactyl of a, whatever the flying monstrosity that was. Um, speaking of being out in the wilderness and preparing to survive. God, now I'm going uphill again. It's gonna be hard to talk through this. Um, I was with my two buddies, uh, Justin and Adam, and we were doing a portion of the JMT. And we just got through Donahue Pass, which is huge. You just go up forever and ever up into the heavens and then back down. And then we had to like scramble down this waterfall situation. And we got to this beautiful meadow area with the river. But then there was just a very long downhill section. And I just, took off like I was in my zone and I went flying down this thing probably like I, honestly I might have been skipping like no shame whatever hashtag no shame uh, but I was bolting it down there and then like an hour later I stopped by the river and I realized like hey there's a beautiful spot and I look around and I'm like well no one else is here and immediately then I was like, all right, take an inventory. I got fishing supplies. I got a camping stove. I got a little bit of fuel. I'll only light fires with the stove. I won't actually cook on it because I need to conserve. I know I can catch a bunch of fish because I caught like 10 fish a few hours before. And I was like literally already preparing for a life out there in the woods. But uh, yeah, they just ended up showing up. Not, not way too much longer, but yeah. Um, I tend to get in the zone out here and just disappear. But uh, don't worry, I'll make it back.
that scary dark midnight road that I was going down. And you was all you was all scared, and I was like, it's gonna be all pretty, but you you all was like, no, you're gonna die and get murdered out there. There's crazy monsters and stuff because it's all black. Man, I said it was all right, and you didn't believe me. Look at this place; it's beautiful. I just had lunch at the Zigzag Mountain Cafe. Um, it's super dark over here. You can't see a dang thing. You, okay, you fix yourself. Uh, no, well now that's all blown out. Judas. All right. Um, anyways, had, had some breakfast at the Zigzag Mountain Cafe. Although it was a late breakfast, it's uh, got got here at maybe 11. Man, that was some good stuff, and there was a nice view of a river right behind it, and everything green. I love green. I'm wearing green now, not red. I, you wouldn't even see me in the forest if I took pictures uh, wearing this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just, I love Oregon, man. This place has been amazing. Uh, right now, uh, while I was in this cafe, just hopped on the internet, charged some things, and I've decided I'm going to head to Astoria which is along the coast. It's supposed to be a very historical town. Um, I think there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. And then what I'll do is I'll start to head down the coast. And um, when I get to, I probably won't make it to California today and I don't really want to, so I'll take it slow. But um, when I get to Crescent City, I'm gonna, my, my buddy Justin sent me a cool place I could check out. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do that. Time to hit the road. Astoria's right back there, right behind me. Can you hear all those? I don't know. Sea lions? Otter? What? Sea? No, otters are little things. Sea lions, right? I don't know. I'm heading this way because it said something about a coffee shop, so I don't want to check that out. having that little nice cup of coffee to this view. It doesn't really get any better. That's a good coffee too. After exploring Astoria, I ended up on the Oregon Coast Highway where I'd followed down the coast for the remainder of my trip. I stopped at Cannon Beach for a brief time just to see what the beaches look like in this area. There were some huge rock formations just off the coast and there was also some amazing architecture in terms of the houses. They were very charming, some of them rather oddly constructed into fences. So right now I'm driving down, oh it's kind of loud in here, get those, win get those windows up, you being all loud interrupting me, windows winds, and the winds all being loud, screw. Anyways, so I'm driving down the Oregon coast highway, and all through Oregon I've seen literally the most beautiful homes. I'm scratching my nose and being an idiot in front and in the camera. Anyways, I've been driving through Oregon and I've seen 
the most beautiful homes, these little charming ones. There's ones with farms and with free range chickens. And I saw one with like this mini farm. Everything was freshly plowed. Just really charming stuff. And, I, and sometimes I think like, man, I would actually love to live in one of these houses. But then I get bummed out because then that means I have to stay in one spot, right? Right? Like, I would have to stay in one spot. Part of what's amazing about van life is that you don't, you're not bounded by that. You're not planted anywhere. So I could, like I said before, uh, I could, I could park at a, an amazing spot one day and then I, I could just drive somewhere, be somewhere completely different and equally as amazing. So um, that would all be forlorn if I lived in one of these houses. Now they're really amazing, but that's, they would just wouldn't capture me for long enough. I gotta be on the move. Oh, that's that. So this is where I decided to have dinner. <laughs> is this even real? Does, is this even allowed? Can life even, can this be life? Is, is that freaking life? Is that real? Is this what my life has become? Ain't so bad, is it? Not too bad at all. Look how beautiful this is. I can't freaking believe this. I'm like actually gonna cry at this. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so nice. Man, look at it. Oh. I I love life so much. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Shortly after this, I would find myself in a rather terrifying situation. But I've been driving steep uphill for maybe 15 miles, and now I'm on this gravel road. Turn right. And there's a moon out. I know you said turn, and that there, there's no turn. Now you want me to drive off the mountain, you think? Jeez, man. I can't even fit through the trees. I actually can't even fit through the trees. How? I can't even fit under this tree. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, just hit baby in the windshield tree. Oh, jeezer. How am I getting out of here? How is this a thing that... Branches jumping out. Look at this thing, I can't fit. I'm kind of stuck in it. I sure as hell can't turn around. Oh, jeez. And that, my friends, that's when you turn the ship around. That's when you get the hell out of here. I've you turned I saw this on the way up, and now I'm out. I'm out. This is not worth... No. I'm gonna find the, the normal road again. No, done, done. Where, where am I? Done, I have no service. How, how am I gonna map myself out of here? There were so many turns. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared. All jokes aside. Man, I was severely lost last night. That tiny ass road, dirt road thing. <sighs> well, I ended up parking on the side of the road here. It ain't too bad, right? Nice road. There's a river up there. But uh, now I'm gonna try to find my way out of here. And... I want to find some cool hikes because I need to get lost in the woods again. Let's see what we can do. These trees 
are freaking enormous. Sometimes it's just the simplest things that really, really bring me joy. I don't have to do anything extravagant. Sometimes it's just finding a place like this that's quiet and kicking it by the river with my guitar. And there's something about these moments that I just know I'll never forget. So I consider it such a great gift that I was able to have several of these on this trip. And it's something I'll hold on to forever. In a way, I guess van life for me has been somewhat of a time machine. It's kind of given me a means to steal back all of the time that I'd lost, trying to figure out what I'm doing, trying to fit in, trying to make some sort of income to buy things that don't make sense. And it's funny because it seems like a lot of us spend so much time and money putting off the things that we love hoping that maybe we can buy the time to do these things later. Living in this van is, it's completely changed my way of thinking and now I don't worry about any of that because I'm doing what I love every single day. And it doesn't matter if I'm out here in the wilderness or on some huge adventure, I can be in this weird park, parking lot. But the point is, is that I can't freaking believe this. I'm like actually gonna cry at this. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so nice. The point is moments like these 